listen, I'm about to make the most millennial decision ever. I have a dart, I'm gonna shoot it at this map, and I'm gonna move wherever it lands. I just wanna get that bag. Am I back? Am I back? I don't wanna lie about this no more. Put the whole team on pack. These eyes so bright, no eyes, my wrist so poor. Alright. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Carl. I'm a travel photographer. And today I got something a little juicy for you. To give you a little bit of context, I graduated in 2017 and I've been traveling the world nonstop. I've been living from hostel to hotel to Airbnb, out of my suitcase, just living out of my suitcase on the road for the last three years. In October of last year, I decided to slow down a little bit and get this apartment here in Atlanta, Georgia. I figured I'll be here for maybe five, maybe six days out of the month because I knew that my work is so travel intensive. I didn't anticipate myself staying in Atlanta much, but I wanted to be here because we have a really good airport and then the whole world completely grinded to a halt as you well know there's been a global pandemic that's put a stop to all travel in the world and I've been sitting here in my apartment for about 60 plus days now my lease is up in two days and I've decided to do something crazy I'm gonna go find a map get a dart blindfold myself throw that dart at the map and wherever the dart lands no second tries no third tries on the first try wherever that dart lands I'm gonna move to that spot let's go get that map <laughs> I'm looking to move. I'm just gonna toss a dart at a map. Basically, I'm looking to throw a dart at a US map and I'm gonna move to wherever the so dart maybe lands. This. I am proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. And I wish you the very best. That's pretty dope. That's yeah. it. I mean, <laughs> so it's pretty important yes. to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Definitely creative and adventurous. Maybe a Nerf gun, you know, shoot. <laughs> oh, oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, this is the map that I was able to find. Look at this, such a nice map. To give you guys some of my preferences, I wanna either move to maybe New York. I'd love to be in New York. If I can't get New York, I'd love to be in Wyoming where you have beautiful mountainscapes, but I don't really want anywhere very hot because I, I really enjoy season. So maybe Seattle, somewhere like Montana, Montana. I'd love to do that. Okay, so uh, to prevent myself from aiming when I'm blindfolded, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin around and then Throw the dart. Well, I didn't. I didn't find a dart. I got a Nerf gun. I'm gonna put a pin on the top of the Nerf gun, and I'm gonna spin around and shoot wherever it lands. That's where I'm gonna go. Let's do this. Oh, now I gotta put this map up. What if it lands in Alaska? Okay, I'm just gonna get this little angle for you down here. That way you see exactly where the dart lands. Make sure that's composed nicely. Yes. All right, guys, here we are, fully cocked and loaded. I'm just gonna blindfold myself, turn around, and shoot. Call from the editing bay here. Before the dart lands, I want you to go down into the comments and tell me where you think the dart's gonna land. And don't just fast forward and cheat and just see where it lands and then go back and write the answer. Just, just be honest here. Pause it. You know what? I'll wait for you. Pause it. Okay. Here's the video. I'm just gonna blindfold myself, turn around, and shoot. Freaking Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Southern California. So yeah, I will, I'll be moving to the Los Angeles area, which happens to be 3,000 miles away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's get to it. Um, I just gotta, I gotta pack up all my stuff. Before I leave Atlanta, I can't necessarily just leave this place without fully experiencing this place. So I have a tiny little bucket list that I want to get done right before I leave. Is that a fog machine? Whoa. It's the best thing ever. If I'm being completely honest, the last half a year in Atlanta has, has unfortunately left a bad taste in my mouth. I haven't been able to experience anything that, that makes the city great, you know? Running around the city with your friends, adventuring, you know, 
going to a new restaurant, or maybe like meeting someone special. All that stuff that makes you fall in love with the city. <laughs> I've unfortunately not been able to experience it because of the pandemic. So I uh, I tried to I tried my hardest to, to fully pack this last week of Atlanta full of memories. Just because I know Atlanta deserves to have a special place in my heart. And you know it's it's been refreshing. It's been a casual reminder that life life is out there if you go out there searching for it. It's just that the limitations of physical and social isolation has has weighed very heavy on my heart. Like my closest family members are thousands and thousands of miles across the globe. I didn't know anyone in the city and at times I felt very alone. And don't get me wrong, I'm someone who revels in discomfort. I I, I I do well under pressure, but I think for the sake of my mental health, I'm, I'm ready for a different kind of discomfort. I'm ready to find a new tribe and start experiencing something new. I think that's the last bit. After five days of exploring the city, messing around, I'm ready to hit the road. Get that bag. I don't wanna lie about this no more. Put the whole team on pack. These eyes so bright, no eyes, my wrist so poor. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> <laughs>